Welcome to Hands On with me, Christian Giller, where every week at 5 p.m., 1700, whatever you prefer, UTC plus two, I try a cool piece of technology that I'm interested in trying. If you enjoy more of what you have seen and would like to know more, then you can find more about me at christianchiller.com. Uh, you can also subscribe to anywhere you are watching at the moment. And I have two new locations that I'm streaming to today, LinkedIn and Twitter, proper Twitter, not Periscope, which I did in the past. So if you're there, say hi. I can see a few of you lurking in chat. So say hi, leave a comment. Please subscribe if you so wish. Now, what are we covering today? Now, give me one quick second because I need someone to kind of collaborate with me here as we become apparent soon. And I just need to make sure they are ready to go. <laughs> this is the problem with being live with uh, collaborators. So what am I covering today? Netlify, sort of. Netlify is not a new project to me or product. I have been using it for a very long time, actually. Um, I use it for most of my own sites and also a couple of uh, sort of work related sites. But I was doing a video um, a couple of weeks, a month or so ago on one of my other streams with uh, Ian Jennings, where we do developer experience for um, a project or a product and we looked at Netlify and I noticed a feature that for some reason I had not noticed before <laughs> and I really wanted to try. So specifically looking at one particular part of Netlify. Let's jump into screen share. And that is in particular Netlify deploy previews. Deploy previews are one part of it that you're probably more familiar with, but it's this particular part, share, review, and manage feedback on your web applications or web projects. Only gonna work on web projects, obviously, only in the browser. Um, and this kind of stuff here, where, no, not here, a bit further down here, this, basically. Because one thing that has always come up quite a lot with anything involving GitHub is people who want to give feedback who don't particularly understand how to use GitHub. Uh, and then you start going into pasting screenshots into uh, Word or PDF or Google Docs or something like that, and you get into all sorts of messing around. And when I saw this feature, just this little box, as you can see on the screen here, kind of lurking, I was like, what is that? <laughs> I want to dig more into that. Um, so I think actually this might be a good excuse for, yeah, finally, whoops, no, I don't want that. <laughs> I want that. Yes, this little box here, something like that. Because I've never used this little tool before, I need to remind myself how to, there we go, good, right. Now, this is the problem with using this tool, is that now I can't click on anything without annotating my screen. Oh, I cannot for the life of me remember the, there we go, I'm back. Okay. So, how do we set it up? I guess, one second. <laughs> I'm trying to get my uh, collaborator here to follow along. <laughs> I need to be, I'm not going to share my YouTube link with you whilst I am, uh, oh, here we go. I think, I think they are coming, hopefully. Right, in the meantime, let's see. How do we get this set up? Get started for free. I think basically just, if you already have a Netify account, you basically have the feature. So 
let's see. I don't want this one. I want. We're going to go for my personal website here. And we should um, create a branch and a preview to work on, basically. So let's do that. Hop over onto GitHub here right away. Um, I will, let me think. Um, let's go for, sure, let's go for this. Games page, why not? Doesn't really matter. <laughs> um, Let's just add a small piece of text. Um, let's make some typos. Okay. So we'll create a new branch. Propose the changes. And as far as I can tell, I don't think we need to change anything in the settings. I think it is just a feature that is enabled by default. Nothing here looks any different. No, all these look exactly the same in uh, Netlify as always. So we'll see what happens. Um, hmm. I don't think I have deploy previews set up on this website. So let's fix that first. <laughs> uh, enabled. Should be enabled. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, hmm. Should be. I think it's more the app side. I'm pretty sure I do definitely have them. And we can probably just get it from here instead. Yep. So that will take a minute or two to build. And we'll wait for a link. Yeah. The images on my website take forever. That's something I need to fix. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully this won't take too long. I didn't think about that. Maybe I should have gone for a simpler website. Um, maybe that's why I don't really have any collaborators on this website. Actually, on that, let's hope that my collaborator here remembered to accept the invite I sent them. Otherwise, it's going to be a problem. <laughs> uh, yes, they did. That looks a bit good. Okay, good. Okay. Yeah, I really need to fix this process. Maybe this is the feedback that I could be giving. <laughs> it's not really completely relevant for this trial. But um, in the meantime, we'll just have to wait for a little bit. But... Actually, I wonder if we can look at another one in the meantime. I don't tend to do very many different. No, it's going to have to wait. All right, well, hopefully it won't take too long. Ah, there we go. We're done. Good. So let's get the, um, the link. Oh, no, it's still going. We're not quite there. Processing now. Shouldn't take much longer, though. Yeah, I still have a form that I don't think is even visible anymore, but site is live. Excellent. Okay. So open the deploy preview. There we go. Now, what is interesting, we'll see some things soon. Um, I just realized my cursor is not highlighted anymore because I was down here. It's really small. <laughs> This little pop out here, open Netlify drawer is the new thing I hadn't noticed before. Okay, so create a free account. We have a, okay, we need to sign in. Let's do that. Yep, with GitHub. So we're getting uh, GitHub here. I also need to sign in with GitHub by the looks of it. It's interesting. Thought that might have picked that up by default, but no. Okay. 
Ah, this is probably because I never added the application, which is why we saw the lack of link. There we go. Right. But this is fine. This is interesting enough in itself, but just gives us some context, really. It doesn't really do very much. New issue. Um, again, so interesting. I mean, it still doesn't really give us this uh, help around people who don't understand GitHub. Integrations is where I wanted to dig in. So Trello, for example, let's try that. Yep. Oops. Yep. I want to associate a particular board. I guess we'll figure out how to do that in a minute. I could also do shortcut, linear, GitLab, Jira. It's kind of an interesting mix of, of options, really. We have team members down here. Um, ah, so it also looks like I need to add them as a team member. Um, actually, I know this. Actually, I'm not sure if this person wants their email address public or not. So give me a second. <laughs> I don't think it's going to matter because I think it's going to be visible in a minute anyway. I am pretty sure they have it on their Twitter profile, so we're probably okay. <laughs> okay. The wrong window. There we go. So that is has a collaborator. Deploy logs, fine. Uh, functions we're not really using. Deploy settings. Uh, not quite sure what that is. But so how do we do this? I would really like to make a Trello. Um, comment. So I not I don't think I'm doing that from here. So maybe let's close that. We now have these that brings that back. Screenshot. We could okay, I have to close this first obviously. Screenshot record scan. I'm not quite sure what scan is. We can also feel like this is gonna be very hard to see because it's very small. Share. What does that do? Doesn't seem to do anything. Oops, hang on. Copied. Ah, so it's just a link. Okay, screenshot. So I asked uh, I asked this person to look at the games page. So let's go to that page. Um, well, <laughs> actually, looks like the uh, the text. I'm not even using that text. So oh well. Um, so we'll make a screenshot. Yes, fine. Paint take a screenshot in two one. Crop and annotate. Okay. Uh, I am not seeing, oops, okay, I'm not seeing any crop, but uh, I want to annotate. I want to add some text. Um, do you think I should add images? There we go. Um, that'll do. Use any new comment, and we'll add it to a Trello. It hasn't so far asked me where I want to save that card which is interesting <laughs> uh, ah here we go um okay oh we are on trello yes search for trello board i know that one there we go so to do i would like to yes ask kate Label, let's say red label. I don't know, it doesn't really matter. So we get an image. Okay, create a card. So if my hidden collaborator, which is Kate, if you hadn't been able to already tell, would toddle off to that um, Trello card that was just created and maybe leave me a comment, some feedback. Let's see what happens. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure what to expect, to be honest with you. I get the impression it's not going to be quite as seamless as I would have hoped, but that was kind of part of the intention of giving this a try. So, um, can you see? Oh, it was right in front of me. So we can see the uh, yes, we can see the uh, card here. They are tagged, which is good. There's a screenshot with a comment. Okay. Open in browser stack. 
figure out what that is in a minute. So if they would go in and leave a comment now, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully they've remembered the Trello login and go and leave a comment and let's see what happens on that preview. I mean, I could collaborate with myself, but it'd be far more interesting if we could collaborate with someone else. Let's have a look at what browser stack is in the meantime. What is browser stack? I'll have to, uh, it's, yeah, previewing in different web browsers. Okay. Okay. I think kind of what I was hoping for was maybe something a little more, I mean, it's, it's not, it's still pretty good. Uh, don't get me wrong, <laughs> but um, I wonder where people will want to actually collaborate. That's kind of the, the thing. It's not quite as um, synchronous as maybe I would have hoped but let's let's see. Um, I seem to have lost the screenshot. I think. Let's try a different option. Let's also try a GitHub one and see what happens. So I'm going to take a record instead this time. Stop recording. So um, I'm not really sure what I'm going to highlight here. <laughs> um, Okay, well, there's an actual error, <laughs> actually, that I actually do need to fix. So there we go. Perfect example. Preview my screen recording. I'm not seeing anything. This could be a Safari issue. <laughs> I am using Safari. Fine. We will use it in, um, yeah, comment on the pull request. There we go. Is that selected? Yes, GitHub comment. Using a new comment. Um, and okay, now oh, that's also interesting. We can comment, approve, and block at the same time. So we want to comment. Okay, that didn't appear to work. It's quite possibly because of. Safari maybe, and I do have a lot of uh, blockers, but um, not 100% sure. Um, so in essence, I mean, this is obviously me. Oh no, I've got two different names showing up here, which is interesting. Um, ah, that's the Trello on there. Ah, so we've got a comment here. So let's come back to that in a second. Let's just have a look at this pull request whilst we're going down that path. So I think you, you kind of expect what to see. Can you see this problem? No, you can't because I've <laughs> got a browser issue, but um, we can also see some basic um, browser metadata here. I don't know how useful that is. It'll take us straight to the preview as well. Mark is resolved. I wonder what that would do. Uh, not quite sure what that does. Oh, it just resolved the comment as we expected. So. Let's go back to that Trello comment and see what we see. We're not getting any form of notification. Um, I'm not sure if I was expecting one, but let's, let's open that back up. Um, I'm not entirely sure how. Um, I don't honestly know, not really seeing any kind of feedback here. I, I see the feedback from GitHub, but I don't see any feedback from on Trello. I was hoping to maybe see like, um, and if I click that, it just takes me to Trello. So, hmm, that's a little of a shame. It could be a limitation, of course, of Trello, but I don't think so. Um, hmm. 
That's a shame. I don't think I am missing something, but I do not see any way of getting that feedback. No, that's going to just take us back to there. Hmm. I also wonder if... Yeah, so we do see the link to Trello here. That's quite useful. But I don't see... This is all just GitHub. Unless I'm going mad. <laughs> I... No, not even here. No, I don't see anything. So that's kind of a shame. Mm. No. No, so it's basically just separated. I see this comment here. Um, I see the screen grab here. I can see links to... I don't even see a link to the GitHub, actually. It's just to the preview. Hmm. That's a shame. That would have been... So it works very well with GitHub, but then I don't think you're really solving the problem. Um, anyone who's happy using GitHub probably doesn't necessarily need... Well, it's a semi-useful tool, but not as useful as it could be. Um, I'd like to see more synchronous here. I don't know if I'm missing something. Maybe we should have a quick look at the documentation. Um, I think we can jump straight to the documentation somewhere. <laughs> uh, yes. Here. I was basically trying to hope that I could kind of replace that um, need to do review in another tool. Uh, and we're getting that partially, but not fully a collaborative. Let's see. Hmm. Permissions. Team access, leave comments. If you're a pending reviewer, your submitted comments remain hidden until a team owner or collaborator approves you. Ah, that could be. I'm going to jump into my email for a second. Let's see. Maybe there is something. Nope. I don't see anything in my email that indicates I need to approve something. Nope. Um, if you're a pending reviewer, your submitted comments will remain hidden until the team owner or collaborator approves you. Quite sure what that means. I mean, out of interest, we could see if I had a comment, if anything happens. Because <laughs> I've definitely got all the approvals. Nope. And it's interesting because this says activity, but it's just GitHub activity. Nothing else. Um, yeah. And this is all just resolving to GitHub issues as well. It's a shame. Not seeing anything. Let's see, quick. Um, Browser stack, no, nope, 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 nope. So I think that is it, unfortunately. Well, so let's very quickly recap that. I think I was kind of looking for something. It's it's actually quite a useful tool. I th I'm tempted to try it with a couple of um, uh, work collaborators in mind, but... Um, I would have to see how useful it would end up being. There's that, that, that synchronous aspect is missing a little bit unless you're using GitHub. That could be enough. 
I sometimes wonder because one of the one of the things that I find a lot of people struggle with with reviewing in GitHub is the default view in GitHub is to see something like this, a diff view. And whilst this is great for reviewing changes, it's not great for reviewing changes if this kind of view doesn't make a lot of sense to you. So, I mean, I don't know if um, if this kind of change also shows up. Uh, let's see. But you, you, this is a very simple change, but in a more complex change, you don't really get any context of what it looks like is the big problem. Um, so the ability here to, I mean, what I'd really like is almost to just be able to highlight something, but yeah, this is all in a web browser. So you can do what you can do. Also, I can't select any, oops. You don't, you can't select anything. You can only get the whole screen. I don't know why I can't crop either. This could be a Chrome issue probably. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing there exactly, but what does that do? Okay. Oh, it's a paintbrush. I thought that was a, a broom. <laughs> uh, so we can yeah, doodle and doodle and doodle. Um, we'll add a comment now instead. So it's semi-useful. I feel like my feedback is it's semi-useful. It could be more useful. I'm not sure how new this is. As I say, I hadn't noticed it before. So I get the impression it's relatively new. But yeah, I'm not sure. Um, and we can also click into here to see what that's going to look like, maybe. Yeah. Comment. Yeah. So this could be useful in itself, maybe. Um, it would be nice if you could link out to and get aggregated. It's interesting because we get we get a notification that Trello was created, but I think that's because that also shows up on the GitHub. Yeah. We're also not seeing these richer diffs, which could be a GitHub API limitation. Or it could be I need to refresh. Uh, no. Don't see that either. Should try refreshing. Does that have interest? No, I don't see those at all. Um, yeah, so, hmm, mixed feedback, I think. Uh, let's let's recap what the promise is and whether that kind of delivers. Um, let me get back to the, the marketing web page. <laughs> uh, where are we? Netlify deploy previews. So let's summarize. I think I need to, there we go. Summarize, so the promise uh, is share, review, and manage feedback on your web projects. I mean, that's a broad sentence. So yeah, kinda. <laughs> um, empower stakeholders to view and leave feedback about your web project with every annotation and comment synced. I feel like that's a typo, but anyway, sync to your favorite productivity tools. Mm, not really. It's not really synced. It's kind of a one-way sync in most cases. And then even on GitHub, it syncs some things. Um, yeah. Um, yes, these definitely are there. Yep, definitely. Flows right in. Flow back inside your workflow. Yeah, kind of. Tag team members with at replies. I mean, this actually is one to very quickly test because I don't know if that's going to sync because I would imagine there's different usernames. Um, I don't think, I don't see why they would stay in sync there or here again. We know we're not seeing any Trello feedback here. So yeah, um, not really any different from 
doing it on GitHub, really. Metadata, yep, that was there. That was useful. Um, that's, I didn't really test that. I also know my website sucks on mobile devices right now. <laughs> deploy logs. Oh, we didn't really look at that. Let's see. Uh, logs. Deploy logs. Yep. Very long. There they are. So yeah, summary. Um, partially delivers, I think. I feel like it's the start of a feature. I feel like it's the start of a very powerful feature. I feel like some of the limitation is probably API limitations from the uh, partner services. Um, some of it is that getting all those things to sync together is actually quite a lot of work. Um, at a very basic level, it's useful, I think, especially to give people that visual reference to give feedback on. And then having that tool just there and then means you don't say, I'll go look at this preview link. They go off, look at the preview link. They take screenshots elsewhere. They paste them around. Like there's at least one place to give that feedback, which I think is, is, is quite useful. Um, but yeah, I feel like that completely syncing thing is not quite there yet. Still, if you're a Netlify customer, you're getting it for free anyway. So there's nothing really to lose, I suppose. <laughs> it's a feature you're getting for free, quote unquote. Um, I don't know if there's benefits you get from um, paying, I'm not sure. It's also worth actually very quickly checking because um, Netlify now has this um, plugin uh, marketplace. And I'm wondering if anyone has maybe made any Plugins, oh, they build plugins though, I think. So I don't think it's going to add anything to the previews. Uh, I don't think so. They're mostly build ones by the looks of it. Yeah, yeah, build plugins, yep. So no, not necessarily. But if you're interested in trying and you are or aren't a customer and that appealed to you, then take a look at netlify.com. Um, yeah, this was an odd little one. I basically wanted to really just wanted to try the feature myself and see if it was going to be usable. Maybe <laughs> is the answer to that question. So I hope that little summary of that little Netlify feature was interesting and useful. If you've enjoyed what you've seen, you can always subscribe to whatever you are watching right now. Uh, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. That's okay. Uh, say hi, leave a comment. Have you used Netlify preview? collaboration, whatever the feature is called, um, let me know how you're finding it in your kind of actual workplace as opposed to me and someone else just collaborating on it. And you can find more about me and all my videos on christianchiller.com. That said, I'm taking a small break. There will not be a hands-on next week because I'm actually off and I'll be traveling and I won't have all my stuff with me. So I'll be back in two weeks. Um, same applies for the Soto Adventurer, although you can look forward to some new uh, format versions of the Soto Adventurer coming out probably maybe this week, maybe next week, and also some other pre-recorded videos coming very soon that I am working on. So you're not going to get any streams for a couple of weeks, but there might be some other videos. So I hope you found that interesting. Love to hear your feedback. And until two weeks' time, here at 1700, 5 p.m. UTC plus two. I'll see you next time. Ta-da.